Kristen. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to share a recipe that is not only very healthy for you, it's going to fill you up and leave you feeling great after you ate every bite. So let's get started. Now to get started, you're going to need mushrooms. You can get a variety or whatever type you prefer. I have a variety here. A red bell pepper, a small or medium sized avocado, a sweet potato, two eggs, broccoli or broccolini, whichever is readily available for you. I have broccoli here. A yellow onion, which I've already peeled. Bacon, I estimate you'll need one to two strips, just depending on how much bacon you like. And honey mustard, just to top it off at the end. So first, we are going to get our sweet potato ready to be cooked. So we're gonna stab it a few times with a fork. I like to get out my aggression here. Go ahead and coat it very lightly with olive oil. And then typically you can stick it on a baking pan and put it in the oven at 375 for about an hour and 15 minutes. Now I have a pizza stone that I like to use because I feel like it distributes the heat very well. So I'm going to be putting down some foil on my pizza stone just for any sort of leakage from the sweet potato um, and cooking it directly on the pizza stone. Okay, so you can see I went ahead and prepped the vegetables. Um, in just a second, I'm gonna be putting them in a hot pan to stir fry them. I like vegetables really crunchy, but if you prefer them a little softer, you are definitely welcome to bake these on a baking sheet at 350 for about 20 minutes. I also went ahead and cubed the small avocado that I had, and that's gonna be a final step. So when we're putting everything in the pan, make sure you put your avocado aside for later um, and just focus on the main vegetables right here. Okay, so I went ahead and greased a large pan that I'm gonna be using to stir fry the vegetables. I set the stove on 7.5. It's just about time to pull the sweet potato out, so this should be really good timing. So, the pan is nice and hot, this is perfect. So I am going to go ahead and bring all of the ingredients over. I'm gonna start with the onions. And just make sure that you are adding salt and pepper. This is pepper. I'm going to go for the peppers. Break this up a little bit more. And go ahead and toss in the mushrooms. One of my favorite items in my kitchen is my egg cooker. Not only does it double as a facial steamer if I'm putting on a face mask, I can cook eggs any way that I want. So for this recipe, we are going to do one hard boiled egg that we're then gonna chop up and throw into the bowl. And then I'm also gonna take an egg to fry and keep runny and put right on top.
Okay, so our sweet potato is ready. I have it out on the cutting board and I'm gonna go ahead and dice it up very delicately. Okay, so now we have the sweet potato. It's perfectly diced, it's still pretty hot, but we're gonna go ahead and toss it in with the rest of the vegetables. So notice that I have actually lowered the temperature from about seven to eight on the stove top down to 1.6. I'm just letting it simmer. Okay, you can see I used two pieces of bacon here. I'm just gonna let them get nice and crispy and then I'm gonna sprinkle them into our vegetables. Okay, so now we've got our bacon and the good news is our egg is ready, so if you have any easy tips for peeling an egg faster than how I do it, then please leave it in the comments below. I cook eggs every day, and this is always my process. What I'm going to do this beauty. And this is the bacon. This is when your avocado comes in. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it in there a little bit. And now we still have one more egg. So we need to cook this egg. Not only is this recipe delicious, it's great for your body and your mind. Did you know that sweet potatoes alone hold enough vitamins and minerals to give your brain the boost it needs if you're dealing with stress, anxiety, or depression? This vegetable works wonders. Remember to incorporate it in as many recipes as you can. All right guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this combination or if you decided to substitute any of your favorite vegetables for something I listed below. Remember to subscribe and let me know your thoughts. I'll talk to you again soon.